welcome back to my channel. Um, it's Eve here. So um, today is a Thanksgiving day and I'm off from work, out of the office, having a long weekend with myself and a family. And uh, today I have plans to finish my Christmas decorating. I already started a few weeks ago and I have Christmas tree left and maybe a few other small things. We'll see how this goes. So um, I'm just gonna get ready with my skincare and maybe I'll just um, show you what I'm using currently. So we're just gonna do kind of like a casual get ready with me slash Christmas house decorating. And I will give you a tour of the things that are already decorated so far and I tell you like where everything came from. We moved to this new house uh, last year and it's kind of like the first time that me and my boyfriend live in such a large space and we used to live in like a smaller rental places before and we never really decorated on such a large scale so we don't have a stash of holiday decorating. We decided to go very minimalistic this year. If you're new to my channel, I would like you to subscribe. I'd like to see my decorating process today and what I did in the house so far. Continue watching. I will talk slightly about my skincare while I'm getting ready. So I'm actually wearing this red shirt because I'm in the mood. And if you can hear, I have Christmas music playing in the back. <laughs> yeah, it kind of puts me in the mood. Um, yes, I am that type of person who uh, listens to Christmas music before Thanksgiving. So I wash my face, there's nothing on it. So I'm gonna usually start with a toner today. I'm just gonna skip it because if you can see, I'm breaking out like majorly. I don't know what this situation is. It's almost like a rash. It's kind of flat, but it looks like a rash. And obviously this, I feel like it's all related to masks. So I'm really happy that we are staying low in the house this whole entire weekend so maybe this is gonna subside i'm just gonna kind of leave my skin alone see if my skin comes down so my eye cream i'm using this confidence in an eye cream by it cosmetic i just apply it under my eye i do apply it around the lid i heard that some uh, dermatologists recommended not to put your eye cream on your upper lid just on the lower I do all around my eye because my eyes are kind of more on a drier side. My skin is very interesting. I think like I can do a whole entire video just talking about like what I was gonna have. And I'm pretty sure everybody's kind of the same. Everybody's skin is very much different. My whole entire face is very combination skin. So I have visible pores on my T-zone and it's oily. It's I'm more normal on around my face and then my eyes drier. This area is here, like my cheeks are very sensitive. Sometimes like I would use a product and it would like break me out here. My cheeks would turn red. And like, as you see, like I have like a random rash here, but I mean, this could be related to mask, but this, I have no idea what this is. For my serum today, I'm gonna use this Q10 serum by Inkylist. I've been using it for some time and I actually really like it. I use this amount, it's tiny, tiny, and it's an antioxidant, and I just apply it all over my skin. It's a very light formula, almost like a gel-like. If you're not familiar with Inkylist brand, it's really affordable. I purchased my out of Sephora. Of course, I have to use sunscreen. So today I'm going to be using this one. I've talked about it so many times. This has been my favorite for probably almost two years, roughly. Um, it is a tinted sunscreen, but it also primes your face. It almost makes like your skin very nice and smooth. It's perfect for under makeup. It's by Australian Gold and it's called Botanical Sunscreen Tinted Face SPF 50. I apply a generous amount, but not too crazy because it is a tinted moisturizer. If you go too crazy, too much, it's gonna almost like cake up. So I would rather add than it's very hard to take it off. Don't forget your ears. And I've mentioned that before, you guys know that I live in Florida now and I've been using sunscreen like no tomorrow because sun is so much different here. I'm not putting this product on my neck area, on my chest, because I do have a different type of sunscreen that I 
put on my body. This product is tinted and I don't really like to put on my chest area because it will transfer to your clothes. For my foundation today, I'm gonna to be using The Ordinary. I recently picked it up, probably in the past month, and I've been really loving it. So this one is a coverage foundation. They have two different kinds. One is a serum, another one is a coverage foundation. So there's a difference. So when you shop, or if you decide to check it out, just make sure you look for a right one. It has really nice, medium coverage. I don't think it's a full coverage. Nice natural finish. My concealer I'm going to be using Boing Caitlin's Concealer by Benefit in the shade number one. Today I wanted to use a cream blush on my face and I'm actually going with this palette from e.l.f. It has four different cream shadows and I really love it. This blush comes in two different color variations. This is a lighter version and there is a little bit deeper um, color combination. And to apply my cream blush, I'm using this Moda Buffing Brush in a BMX 180. I usually go ahead and just mix colors. I apply cream blush in the tapping motions and just kind of on the apple of my cheek here and going up to my temple and very gently tapping so we don't want to disrupt foundation because nothing is set at this time and just keep in mind guys that when i when you're using cream products like blush or bronzer once you set everything with powder it will be toned down so you have to go a little bit up a notch to make a little bit brighter because once you set everything it's gonna get much lighter giving myself a really nice flush cheeks and i also like to put some on my nose i know it kind of looks crazy but watch there is a science to this madness i'm gonna go with a sponge on the outside and just kind of tone it down a bit just blend it a little bit more with the skin and do you guys see how much it blends out how it kind of shears out make it look very very natural like it's my own cheek and i'm going to do the same thing on this side i'm not really touching this area because this is what i want to be the brightest but i'm just touching it on the perimeter to set my under eyes i'm going to use this highlighting brush from ulta beauty you guys probably have seen this before i use it all the time it's one of my favorites but i don't use it as a highlighting brush i use it to set around my eyes because it's just a perfect oval size and it fits right into this area and the powder that i'm going to use today is by number seven lift and illuminate translucent setting powder in a light. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about filming a video of my favorite brushes because I definitely have brushes that I could declutter so I think I'm gonna do my whole entire brush collection and slash declutter and where you guys can see my favorite brushes because I feel like I have a good collection of brushes at the moment. I actually just ordered a little bit more over Black Friday sale and I will include them in that video. So if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below if that's something that you wanted to see. So we're gonna set the rest of the face and I'm gonna use my Becca Hydro Powder. I'm almost finished, guys. This is how little is left. If you saw my previous videos of my uh, project pan, I can link it um, up here for you to watch if you missed that one, but I'm almost done. This is one of my favorite parts of all times. I think I will be repurchasing this one because it's it does just magic to my skin. My makeup just stays the whole entire time. This powder is so good. I know some people didn't like it, but I was the one who actually loved it. So, and I'm using uh, this powder brush by Urban Studios. Silent Night is one of my favorite songs for Christmas. What's yours, guys? Share your favorite Christmas song with me. I wanna know. I've been listening to Christmas music in the past two weeks. Okay, for my bronzer today, I am actually using the one from GKW. It's in the shade Contour 2, and I'm using
using just an angle brush. This is by the brand Kala. I picked it up on my Teacher Max. I believe I already mentioned in my previous videos. I really like it. And let me tell you about this product a little bit. I did not like it at first when I got it. I didn't. I didn't use it for the longest time. I think I filmed a video initially just using a bunch of um, KKLW products and I didn't like it at first. I was like, oh my God, it's not showing up on my skin. And let me tell you, I kind of like it now. It's, I explain why. So I'm very pale and I think the time where I got it initially, I was a little more tanned and it wasn't showing up on my skin. And I think that now that I am back to like my palest self, um, it actually is showing up on my skin. And now I kind of have a different opinion because it is a nicer, like a um, very light formula. This powder doesn't have a kickback. It's so firmly pressed. Is anybody else bronzer or ears or it's just me? <laughs> I hope I'm not alone in this because I do this all the time. I wear my hair up or like pin back or some sort of like half puff up and my ears are showing. So I kind of always put makeup on my ears too. I put highlighter on my ears. I put bronzer on my ears. Are you guys with me on that? So this bronzer is just very light and it blends fine. And I just feel like the smaller brush would give you more justice to use with this specific product. I try to use it with a larger fluffier brush it was just no color payoff obviously we'll have to go and bronze this area and i'm going to use fluffier brush because the fluffier brush would not work with a kkw product and i am going to go with my mark jacobs one in 102 For my highlighter, you know, I'm going to be using my new one, the Tribe Volume 3 from Juvia's Place. I usually use a large fluffing brush and just kind of move it all around. I also bring it to my color bones. You get a little bit of shine. Don't forget your ears. I always like to outline my lips first and then fill them up a little bit so the lip product stays a little bit longer. I noticed that this technique is working for me. For my lipstick today, I'm going to use this cream lipstick by Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Passion. This beautiful mauve pinkish color. We have to finish the eyebrows and the lashes. So let's go ahead and do it very quick.
the last step guys is to put the mascara on i've been using the mascara in the past several weeks i would say since my last haul if you didn't see me my last unboxing i can link it down below for you um this mascara is so good guys this is one coat i am skipping the setting spray today because i'm literally going nowhere i'm staying in the house and i'm just gonna let my makeup just do its own job all right guys i hope you like this portion of the video getting ready with me doing my little makeup and now we're gonna continue to the living room to decorate hey guys so we have received this christmas tree we pick it up from a target it's by wonder shop brand it's seven and a half feet and virginia pine lit tree um i don't know i hope this works out i saw it on display at target and we ordered it online um because it was out of stock it was just only display um, product so it came in yesterday and uh let's go ahead and unbox. Okay, the tree is up. It took me probably about 20 minutes to fluff the whole entire thing, but it looks nice and beautiful. So this tree has different branches, like different types of branches. Some of them are like fluffy and look more natural. Another one is this like pine kind, and obviously there's fillers like this, but overall it's very very pretty so i also wanted to show you guys what i picked up for decorating the tree so this year i really want to do everything kind of like silver and white and i went to walmart and i found this beautiful poinsettia clips they all have like this little clippies and then they were very inexpensive i think they were like under yeah they were 98 cents each so i got a bunch of them there's two different kinds i have the ones that are more glittery chrome finish and i got a bunch of them and i also was looking for white ornaments and i didn't find a beautiful white one so i opted out for this type of set it was eight glass ornaments for 3.98 um they're kind of like a pearly white they actually look really really nice and I got two packs of these. I majority of my tree, I really wanted to be kind of uh, all flowery. And then I got obviously the hooks uh, also from Walmart and another clip, just this shimmery filler. And um, I think you can like stretch them out a little bit and make them fluffier, but I have the whole entire bag of these. And my skirt is from previous year my tree from the previous year was also silver so this will um be back on the tree this year again
My Kitchen Island centerpiece, I wanted a pop of color, classic red. These 30 vases came pre-filled from TJ Maxx uh, for $7.99, as well as the Joy sign. And I also added these beautiful silver ornaments. They were a part of the last year's set that I got from Walmart. And these tall candle holders came from Dollar General, and they were $10. Okay, guys, I also wanted to show you my centerpiece at my dining table. And I found this beautiful table runner, TJ Maxx, and this candle holder is from Dollar General, as well as these two, they're identical, they already have candles. These have candles inside and they were like $30 each. And this is just for like a tea light or like a different type of candle. These two um, reindeers also came from TJ Maxx and these Christmas trees are actual candles. Looked up these two little houses. There is a candle inside. It's battery operated. I think they came from Hobby Lobby. And these are just the ornaments that were left over from uh, previous year. I have this vase. It's just my vase that I use for just fresh flowers. And I uh, found these branches at Dollar General. These are just so beautiful. I think there's like three this type of branches um, with berries and then the fillers. I think there's also three of them in this large vase. So they were very inexpensive. I think they were like $30 a piece. So I really, really like this. Okay guys, so we just stepped out to my porch and we didn't do massive decoration here. Like I mentioned earlier, we just kind of wanted to go minimalistic, do some things that would just get us there where we feel the Christmas spirit or the holiday spirit but just enough to get us there. But, um, so I wanted to show you these wonderful, beautiful poinsettias. I love flowers in general. I went for this big pot of poinsettias and I had this pedestal holders from before. I ordered them from Target. I can link them down below for you if you're interested. I was looking for something like this for quite some time and I found um, them for a very reasonable price. They come really useful. I redecorate the house seasonally and it just works with everything. So I placed the pot in there and I also have one here right next to the door we don't change the mat it's just the basic one that we always have year round for time being i do have my gift boxes there they are also actually from dollar general they're all wired and obviously you have to plug them in but um they are pre-lit and they were i believe three dollars for the whole entire set it's one set of three and i uh, right now i have this beautiful wreath it came from walmart also for 19.99 and guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for tuning in today and spending a little bit of your day with me. I hope you like this video and it was a very much casual vlog style, get ready with me slash decorate with me. I'll try to tag everything and link everything down below for you if you're interested to check out some of the items that I personally used uh, for decoration. And um, I would love you to subscribe before you leave if you haven't done so already. And thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.